guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Autumn, Max, and Sang. And today we are reviewing Michelle Mermaid, daughter of the Little Mermaid. The packaging is, you know, as we've discussed before, it's very standardized now for Ever After High. Um, it's still the very flat 2D box with the cardboard fused to the plastic. Um, and yeah, as usual, the only difference is that um, the tree on the left side has little seashells. And of course, on the bottom right is Michelle's artwork, uh, which is very lovely. I really like her artwork. And, you know, it's an unfortunate reminder of what could something happen. she doesn't come with, which we'll get into later. But yeah, I really like her artwork. On the back here, we have some personality blurbs for Michelle. You can go ahead and pause the video if you want to read that. Uh, I am digging this whole a wave, if you can call it that, of Jillian, Nina, and Michelle. Just they're all very colorful and fun and happy looking, so. Yeah, I like, I like this wave. It's all the girls who made their debut in Dragon Games. Um, something I noticed that's you know, kind of funny is, you know, on the bottom right it shows the promo images of all three girls and of course it's their prototype versions for all of them. I don't know how long they've been doing this, maybe they've been doing this this entire time and I just haven't really noticed. I noticed the disclaimer just beneath the photo says, Colors and decorations may vary from those shown. It's that last part. I'm really, I'm really <laughs> curious if that particular warning has been on like every box that, you know, they're like, just so you uh, know, this might be the prototype version and not what you're actually getting. <laughs> uh, I would not be surprised if that was a recent addition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they do that for uh, Monster High as well. Yeah. yeah. The way to cover their booties. The prototype <laughs> versions. But, yeah, aside from its simplicity, you know, and that, the, the box is cute. So here is Michelle out of her box. And out of water. <laughs> and out of water. And we're gonna do an in-depth look right now. Alrighty, here's a close-up of Miss Mermaid's face. First impression is she's very uh, sweet looking. She's got magenta hair with purple on the bottom of it. And it, she's got half of her head swept over in like, I don't know. It's like wrapped around the back of her head, so that's really cute. Uh, and on the top of her head, she has this cute headband with uh, like a pearly white set of like coral and some golden more coral in the center. Mm. I like it, it's shiny. Yeah, it's cute. It's a very like pearly white. And on the side of her face, she has lovely little star tattoos. Um, they are teal and pink, uh, and there's a little bit of glitter sprinkled across them. Um, I think they're a nice, cute touch. In terms of her face, uh, what I think is really interesting about her face is um, despite the fact that, you know, her artwork I think makes her seem very mature and kind of seductive. She has a very, very youthful face in doll form. Uh, I think it's part of it is, you know, she has the thick brown eyebrows and she has these wide kind of teal doe eyes. Um, and I really like how they did her makeup. There's like, you know, a thin layer of pink eyeshadow on the top of each eye with some golden yellow above that and a bottom layer of yeah. Like, yeah, kind of like a glittery teal eyeshadow. And she has peach pink lips. Um, and, you know, something kind of interesting about her lips. Um, now, I've seen two, you know, Michelle Mermaids in box, and both, uh, it, they look like they're supposed to have glitter on her lips, but it's it's really odd. It's like barely there. There's There's like a few specks of glitter on her lips, basically. So it looks kind of unfinished to you? Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if that was intentional, but I mean, that was the case on both Michelle's we saw. Yeah, I think there's a very light um, sprinkle of some glitter on her Moving lips. on to her outfit, she has this long ball gown. I think it's 
sleeveless, strapless, that has, it, it's all like a mermaid tail fish scale design, um, but it has some solid like chartreuse orange on the top, which doesn't go all the way around. It's just like, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but it's just kind of stitched to the front of it. Yeah, so the dress itself is all one piece. The chest piece she's wearing on top um, is made primarily of golden seashells um, and you know there's kind of like a coral design throughout which is painted orange. Um, in the prototype version um, Michelle had um, the you know the little the large starfish on the lower left was also painted in that orange color um, but in the final version it's left alone. I think this design would benefit from more, even more paint. Yes. On all the different shells and stuff. Yeah, definitely. You know what's weird? Um, I don't know if this was like when we took out of the box, but usually with like big chunks of plastic or necklace piece on like dolls, they're really, they're usually like strapped on to the doll. Like this piece. Maybe is the construction's down. pretty solid for it. Like you know, it doesn't come off. It looks to me like it's. Oh no, no, you know why? It, it butt buckles in the back. Mm. Yeah, so you don't. I usually mm. strap down though. I mean, it's just a minor like like mm. thing, but um, I do notice like if her outfit, like if you lift up her arms, her whole neck piece comes up with her. Oh, that's yeah. unfortunate. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I think for this particular piece though, um, I don't know if it would necessarily benefit from being tied down because like I said, yeah, it has like that little you snap it on in the back. She also has a nice little blue seahorse purse. Um, I really like the design on it. It's very cute. Um, it's actually a nice size. For some reason, some of the purses for some of these dolls feel really so oversized. Bulky. Yeah, really huge. Uh, I like that this one, it's a little more compact. Um, it's appropriate, you know, too, considering it's almost supposed to be like a seashell with this, you know, seahorse on top. Per usual, it would benefit from some paint, but yeah, it's pretty cute. And Michelle is also wearing a little bracelet that has a similar, uh, it actually looks quite a bit like kelp and seaweed is incorporated yeah. in the bracelet, which is cute. Um, it's a similar gold color to her chest piece, but it's actually, it's actually, it looks to me in person, it's a little bit more like a metallic gold. So the mermaid dress itself um, is actually, in my opinion, it's very pretty. Um, it has a very, you know, it has the scales all down the front uh, that are very, very iridescent. You can see shimmers of yellow and pink and green, you know, in the light. And as Max was mentioning earlier, it's a lot softer than you expect. So it's a very pleasant material to run your finger across. And mm. it has, I don't know, I don't know what to call that quality, but. Yeah, it just... it's, yeah, I think, you know, a lot of people's concerns when they saw the promos is the, the dress, I don't know, it looked like it would be very stiff or coarse, and that's actually not the case at all. It's a very soft dress. Um, and the tool all throughout has a lot of glitter on it. Um, I think it's a really nice touch. It's very pretty. Um, does it look that great from the side or the back? <laughs> it looks very cheap to me. Yeah. It's like it's like um, they they worked on the front and they just slapped on the back. Like I mean, to be fair, like, like that happens a lot in real fashion. It's where the, I have all of the show catching, eye catching mm -hmm. stuff on the front, mm -hmm. and then the back's just a plain mm -hmm. fabric that cinches it all together neatly. But mm -hmm. yeah, I mean. If they weren't gonna make it especially tight on the back, then it does look kind of weird. But... Honestly, where it looks most awkward to me is the fact that the color of her dress trails into the back of the top. That's where I think it looks a little awkward. Yeah, I kind of wish that the top was like its own Separate thing, piece. more elegantly weaved into it, because it's just a solid piece of orange rectangle just stapled to the front of her dress like I don't know it's mm -hmm. just not literally stapled but it's yeah. just does not look like something if, if someone would take the time to make you know all of that 
and then they who would just put orange on the front? You know what this would go good with? Just like a red shirt. <laughs> <laughs> just a red tee, whatever. Yeah, there's no like pattern or anything. Yeah. They don't mm -hmm. like the promo picture or like the promo art has her sh orange shirt like sparkly. Oh, that would have been a like good glitter touch. on them. Oh, that would have been really Yeah, cute. I don't know yeah. if it's something that was cut or whatever. But they, just... that is, they did the exact same thing to Jillian's shirt. Jillian yeah, had an actual design on her top and they got rid of it. But, um, I mean, the good news is both Michelle and Jillian, at least, you know, to kind of compensate, they have a nice piece on top of, you know, the really bland top. Um, but yeah, I'm very tempted to paint the chest piece of my Michelle. Moving on to the shoes. Shoes. Oh my god, shoes. So here is the bottom of Michelle's gown and the beginnings, endings of her shoes. Um, so how do you guys feel about how it fans out at the bottom? I think it gives you the impression that she's a mermaid like, <laughs> while she's human, which mm -hmm. is kind of nice. But I think we talked about like just before um, the, the, the dress is not tight enough. It feels really frumpy on her, like she's wearing an oversized dress. It's like it's cut too high up. Like the like the fin part is cut up to where her knees are. It should be lower down on her. You know what I really think, honestly, is um, maybe that was to give her mo mobility, though. Yeah, because yeah. wh where where I want to go with that is. Um, it, what comes into play is it's aesthetics versus practicality. I do agree. It would make more sense as an actual mermaid dress if it maybe came out to like about here instead of all like out here. Um, what I will say though is it does make her quite a bit more movable. And to be honest, that was actually originally one of my concerns with Michelle is that you wouldn't really be able to move her legs because of this dress. So, I mean, I do kind of appreciate that, you know, she's more posable in that aspect because the dress isn't too tight. I don't particularly mind any of the points that Max and Singh have made. However, just as an aesthetic thing, I wish I wish that the bottom had a little bit more tall to, like, represent fins. <sighs> oh, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. it, it does look a little bit, like, unfinished, like, I don't know. This is like a sixth grade dance dress. Like it's been a recurring thing with a lot of doll outfits lately is the fabric just like stops. Like they don't like finish it with you know, something. Like, yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe we should add a little bit of lace or tulle mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. Um, okay, and then the back of the dress, as you kind of saw earlier, just looks like that, which kind of looks like a mess from behind. But we're just gonna focus. Over here. This is where the party's at. So, yes. and it shines brilliantly. So it's beautiful. I'm yeah. happy about it. <laughs> the, ir the iridescence is gorgeous. It photographs really well too. Um, as you can see, though, um, you the know, shoes kind of take a back. Space. She may as well <laughs> not have shoes because yeah, her the dress almost you know it really obscures the shoes. Michelle is wearing pearly white heels um, with. You know, a very cool design. I've I've seen actually a lot of complaints about Michelle's shoes <laughs> online. Um, to be really honest, personally, I actually think the shoes are really pretty. They have, and, and at least in terms of design, um, you know, they have really cute clamshells on either side, and I really like that the heel is um, <laughs> kind of like a faux mermaid tail. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it looks so silly, Max. What are you talking Why about? Why does it look silly? What? I, just, I don't like just your shoes. a fish leg flopping out. <laughs> okay, I can understand that you're trying to, she's trying to honor her scaritage, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's monster high, but... <laughs> I, I, regardless, um, it's just there's no paint on them, and then there's... No, that's what I was going to get into, is they... I think that that's oh what God. ruins it. That's we like have such it. different views. He loves the fish. He needs more paint. I love that there's no paint. Because it's oh. just pearly, because you know how we were talking later, how the shoes take a batch stage, you only see this much. Like I like that they yeah, just pop out. Like, it's not like, uh, yeah. I, I like the color that they went with. I just don't like the heel. The heel should not be a, like a fin. I, can understand. <laughs> I, I think part of the issue is I think, yeah, I guess I was associating it with more of like a mermaid fin. I feel like you guys are really associating with like a fish. It's just like... a hardcore like a <laughs> trout or something. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I can kind of, yeah, I guess I can see why that would be weird. But I mean, I think honestly, at least I think what they were going for, maybe if they made it look more explicitly like a mermaid tail, a fin instead of like... 
a fish tail, but. What is nice is she has some a starfish with some pearls on the inner yeah. side. No, that's really my favorite part, is I like the detailing of like the clamshells and the little stars and stuff like that. It's very mermaidy. It's really cute. And that's what makes me tempted to paint it. I actually do see where Autumn's coming from though. I think I can see to some extent where like, you know, if you paint it too much, it's just gonna be a mess of color that you're not even gonna be able to see that well because of the dress. See, how nice is that? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's also a fish looking up her dress. <laughs> and something we didn't quite notice until we were almost done with our review is that Michelle's pretty tall. She's a tall girl. She has the you know, quote unquote, big sister mold of Ever After High. And uh, this is actually only the third Ever After High character in the entire cast who has received dolls um, to be added to this group. Um, Along with Cerise and, and Duchess. And Duchess, yeah. right. Which is nice. I think they really needed it for her mermaid gown. Yes, I think gown it's, it, yeah, it works out. So. Yeah, I always thought they kept um, like the tall molds for um, the girls who, who has to like transform. So I well, guess, oh yeah, mm, she does. Yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah, she, yeah. She, when she touched water or whatever, um, she uh, her legs turned back to the fin. Yeah. Oh, that's a cute thing to have. So all right, guys. Um, just before we go down to our you know usual um, final thoughts, uh, we like to mention once again. She does not come with a stand or any brushes. This is what she get. Just her purse. And her usual card, which we'll yeah. show you right now. Her usual little card. And you know, has a little story on the back, which we can show here. You can pause the video and read it. You know, I kind of take issue with that because obviously it's much less less engaging than the bookmark stories were, but yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think that it's one thing to not supply a stand with every doll ever, but at least new characters. I mean, you want to display them, and you might not have any more stands. I, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what the thinking is there. But I'm also just going to put in the two cents, is that supposedly the upcoming... I find it interesting that, you know, a, a toy line that has really been struggling brats, you know, the, their upcoming lines have joints and stands. I feel like they, they uh, I mean, this is a whole nother topic, but they swapped, like, um, yeah. philosophies. They did. Monster High isn't that, Monster High never after, Mattel in general, no more joints, no more arm joints, and no more stands. Well, brats, after, you know, getting a lot of slack for it, are mm -hmm. not having joints and a stand. I think it's probably because Mattel Mattel has less to lose in terms of like one individual series as we're, you know. Yeah, I think like, Monster yeah. High and Ever After High, I think Mattel's line of thinking is um, um, what they want to do is kind of conform and be more um, in sync with Barbie. Their other brand where, you know, Barbie, generally speaking, do not have a lot of joints mm -hmm. and they also um, don't come with stands. And I think they want to kind of ease the consumer into not having these kind of things. And, I can um, see that. Yeah. And um, you know, you know, if they, if they, Mattel, Mattel wants us to think that it's okay not to have stands and whatnot because Barbie is not, doesn't have any. Whatever. Which leaves a lovely predicament for us as heavy doll collectors of where the heck we're going to put and store all these dolls, but, you know, can't really display them anymore. But anyway, it's a larger topic, but moving on to our final thoughts for Michelle Mermaid. You know, I think overall, um, she's very pretty, uh, you know, point blank, I would, if you're an Ever After High fan, I would recommend her. Um, I would say Little Mermaid is one of the fairy tales that, you know, is very, very associated with Disney in the public eye. I would say they did a good job of making Michelle's design um, very unique and, you know, and very different from, like, Ariel. Um, I appreciate the, like, you know, magenta and purple hair and kind of like the orange and gold color scheme of her accessories. Um, she definitely, she definitely does remind me of a mermaid. Um, 
you know, I like her face and as I mentioned the iridescence and detailing of her dress in the front is really pretty. Uh, my main issues with her lie in, you know, it's usual stuff, it's, you know, the budget cuts, removals of, um, you know, one of the main things is, um, I would say out of all three new girls, I would say Michelle's earrings are most sorely missed because it was a really cute, like, conch shell earrings. Um, it added a lot. I'm really sad they cut those, but, um, you know, I can live without the paint on the starfish, but I really wish she came with her earrings. Um, but I would recommend her. She's pretty. Um, so, I mean, I was never fond of Michelle. I thought she was the weakest of the three new characters, um, but she does, in person, have a very lovely face, and I think it's very sweet, and I like her big eyes. Um, you know, going off of what Max said, um, yeah, her earrings, the lack of earrings is kind of jarring on Michelle, especially how predom predominantly featured it is in her um, art, as well as like the prototype they have in the box. I can, I'm okay with dolls not having any paint, but missing accessories is something that, you know, it's nothing you can really do to remedy it. Like, it's, you can't make your own. I mean, unless you're really crafty, you can't really make your own that looks like what doll originally is supposed to have. So, you know, with paint and stuff, you can repaint things, but yeah, she doesn't even have earring holes, which is kind of upsetting. I don't like her mermaid dress. I can understand that they want to make her look like a mermaid, but in my opinion, as a daughter of the Little Mermaid, um, or Little Mermaid in general, you know, her wish was to get human legs, so I thought they would, you know, at least show off her legs. Um, what if they gave her fishtail, like, bell bottoms? Yeah, something like that. I think just how it looks now looks really bad. It's not tight enough to be a mermaid dress, and it's too loose to look any good. Maybe, you know, with another release. I think she has the potential to be look very pretty, but she has very, she has a very, you know, uh, cute theme that they have a lot to work with. Um, so I hope she gets, you know, a better release. I just don't like her outfit. I hate <laughs> the chunk of red. It's not even a full red shirt. It's like a red only in the front, and you can see the back of the dress from, from the front. From the front. Well, that's the worst. Yeah, honestly. Can, yeah, it's just it's so cheap. It's I awkward. do like the frilly, shiny stuff that's on her tail. I think that's cute. Um, but um, I think Michelle <laughs> suffered the most from all the budget cuts. I think lack of you know detailing on the outfit and lack of accessories. You know, she uh, unfortunately, if she was released earlier on, I think she would looked have looked a lot better. Would you say she's worth? Was she worth 20 bucks? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> do, I, do I think you should get her? Uh, if you're completist, yes. If um, you want to wait until she's cheaper, because these dolls do tend to drop drastically in price whenever <laughs> you know Target <laughs> has their super clearance or whatever. <laughs> um, you know, yeah, I mean, I like her face. I think it's very cute. But her outfit is not cutting for me. Like, I've seen budget dolls with better outfits. Ooh, mm, throwing some shade there. I don't completely agree with that. But... <laughs> yeah, you'll have to you'll have to bring a basic outfit to <laughs> as an example. Um, you know, uh, ever after high, I don't care about the standards. It, it, it certainly things were a lot higher back. Like if you imagine basic Raven or Apple, like the the standards were much higher back then. But I just love her color palette and her cute face and the theme. She's adorable and she's so shiny. I, I think she's worth it and I think she's a cute doll. Obviously, we like to complain here at the toy chat, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's really it's really not that big of a deal. We she's like sweet. To chat about the negatives. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, not, you know, not a big deal for me. She looks like she'd be fun to add some extra paint to. Maybe some, you know, taller lace if we were feeling adventurous. Alright, thank you for joining us for our review of Michelle Mermaid, Daughter of the Little Mermaid. Be sure to let us know in the comments below what you guys think of Michelle, um, you know, especially in comparison to these other new characters. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye and kind of seductive. She has a very, very youthful face in doll form. Uh, I think it's part of it is, you know, she has the thick 
brown eyebrows, and she has these wide, kind of teal doe eyes. Um, and I really like how they did her makeup. There's like, you know, a thin layer of pink eyeshadow on the top of each eye with some golden yellow above that and a bottom layer of teal. like, yeah, kind of like a glittery teal eyeshadow. And she has peach pink lips. Um, and you know, something kind of interesting about her lips. Um, now I've seen two you know, Michelle Mermaids in box, and both, uh, it, they look like they're supposed to have glitter on her lips, but it's, it's really odd, it's like barely there. There's, there's like a few specks of glitter on her lips, basically. So it looks kind of unfinished to you? Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if that was intentional, but I mean, that was the case on both Michelles we saw. Yeah, I think there's a very light, um, sprinkle of some glitter on her Moving lips. on to her outfit, she has this long ball gown. I think it's sleeveless, strapless, that has, it, it's all like a mermaid tail fish scale design, um, but it has some solid like chartreuse orange on the top, which doesn't go all the way around. It's just like, uh, kind of hard to see, but it's just kind of stitched to the front of it. Yeah, so the dress itself is all one piece. The chest piece she's wearing on top um, is made primarily of golden seashells. Um, and you know, there's kind of like a coral design throughout, which is painted orange. Um, in the prototype version, um, Michelle had um, the you know the little the large starfish on the lower left was also painted in that orange color, um, but in the final version, it's left alone. I think this design would benefit from more, even more paint. Yes. On all the different shells and stuff. Yeah, definitely. You know what's weird? Um, I don't know if this was like when we took her out of the box, but usually with like big chunks of plastic or necklace piece on like dolls, they're, really st they're usually like strapped on to the doll, like this piece. Maybe the down. construction's pretty solid for it, like it doesn't come off. It looks to me like it's, oh no, no, you know why it, it but buckles in the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you don't. But usually it's strapped down though. I mean, it's just a minor like, like mm. thing, but um, I do notice like if her outfit, like if you lift up her arms, her whole neck piece comes up with her. Oh, that's yeah. unfortunate. <laughs> that's true, yeah. I think for this particular piece, though, um, I don't know if it would necessarily benefit from being tied down because, like I said, yeah, it has like that little you snap it on in the back. She also has a nice little blue seahorse purse. Um, I really like the design on it. It's very cute. Um, it's actually a nice size. For some reason, some of the purses for some of these dolls feel really so oversized. Bulky. Yeah, really huge. Uh, I like that this one. It's a little more compact. Um, it's appropriate, you know, to you know, they're like just so uh, you know, this might be the prototype version and not <laughs> what you're actually getting. <laughs> uh, I would not be surprised if that was a recent addition. <laughs> yeah, they do that for uh, Monster High as well. Yeah. yeah a way to cover their booties from the <laughs> versions. But yeah, aside from its simplicity, you know, and that, the, the box is cute. So here is Michelle out of her box. And out of water. <laughs> and out of water. And we're going to do an in-depth look right now. Alrighty, here's a close-up of Miss Mermaid's face. First impression is she's very uh, sweet looking. She's got magenta hair with purple on the bottom of it and it, she's got half of her head swept over in like, I don't know, it's like wrapped around the back of her head so that's really cute. Um, and on the top of her head she has this cute headband with uh, like a pearly white set of like coral and some golden more coral in the center. Mm. I like it, shiny. Yeah, it's cute. It's a very like pearly white. And on the side of her face, she has lovely little 
star tattoos. Um, they are teal and pink, uh, and there's a little bit of glitter sprinkled across them. Um, I think they're a nice, cute touch. In terms of her face, uh, what I think is really interesting about her face is um, despite the fact that, you know, her artwork I think makes her seem very mature, considering it's almost supposed to be like a seashell with this, you know, seahorse on top. Per usual, it would benefit from some paint, but yeah, it's pretty cute. And Michelle is also wearing a little bracelet that has a similar, uh, it actually looks quite a bit like kelp and seaweed is incorporated yeah. in the bracelet, which is cute. Um, it's a similar gold color to her chest piece, but it's actually, it's actually, it looks to me in person, it's a little bit more like a metallic gold. So the mermaid dress itself um, is actually, in my opinion, it's very pretty. Um, it has a very, you know, it has the scales all down the front uh, that are very, very iridescent. You can see shimmers of yellow and pink and green, you know, in the light. And as Max was mentioning earlier, it's a lot softer than you expect. So it's a very pleasant material to run your finger across. And mm. it has, I don't know, I don't know what, what to call that quality, but... Yeah, it just... it's, yeah, I think, you know, a lot of people's concerns when they saw the promos is the, the dress, I don't know, it looked like it would be very stiff or coarse, and that's actually not the case at all. It's a very soft dress. Um, and the tool all throughout has a lot of glitter on it. Um, I think it's a really nice touch. It's very pretty. Um, does it look that great from the side or the back? <laughs> it looks very cheap to me. Yeah. It's like, it's like um, they, they worked on the front and they just slopped on the back. I mean, right to be fair, like, like that happens a lot in real fashion. It's where the, I have all of the show catching, eye catching stuff on the front mm -hmm. and then the back's just a plain mm -hmm. fabric that cinches it all together. Hello guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Autumn. Max. And Sang. And today we are reviewing Michelle Mermaid, Daughter of the Little Mermaid. The packaging is, you know, as we've discussed before, it's very standardized now for Ever After High. Um, it's still the very flat 2D box with the cardboard fused to the plastic. Um, and yeah, as usual, the only difference is that um, the tree on the left side has little seashells. And of course, on the bottom right is Michelle's artwork, uh, which is very lovely. I really like her artwork. And, you know, it's an unfortunate reminder of what could something she doesn't come with, which we'll get into later. But yeah, I really like her artwork. On the back here, we have some personality blurbs for Michelle. You can go ahead and pause the video if you want to read that. Uh, I am digging this whole a uh, wave, if you can call it that, of Jillian, Nina, and Michelle. Just they're all very colorful and fun and happy looking, so. Yeah, I like, I like this wave. It's all the girls who made their debut in Dragon Games. Um, something I noticed that's you know, kind of funny is, you know, on the bottom right it shows the promo images of all three girls and of course it's their prototype versions for all of them. I don't know how long they've been doing this, maybe they've been doing this this entire time and I just haven't really noticed. I noticed the disclaimer just beneath the photo says, Colors and decorations may vary from those shown. It's that last part. I'm really, <laughs> I'm really curious if that particular warning has been on like every box that 